Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with Ludum Dari 34. Ludum Dari 34 is a two part jam and combo. The jam is 72 hours where you can work in teams or alone, and the combo is a bit harder where you need to work solo in 48 hours and include your source code. The themes of this jam were growing and or two button controls because they tied during theme slaughter. The Ludum Dari is um, a huge jam. It's got thousands of entries, so I'm not going to be able to play them all, but I am playing all of the games that are requested to me on my sheet. So if you want your game to be played, there'll be a link in the description of a sheet that you can add your game to, and I'll be playing all of the ones entered on that. Um, when it's finished, I'll have some articles out of my favorites, probably two over on Fireside, so feel free to follow me on Twitter so you can get an update on that when it's done. As always, thank you very, very much for watching and liking and commenting. That's it. Next. We're playing the game Cave Swing. No, okay. I have had some practice and totally know how to play it before I should know how to play, like, how to bring up my rope and stuff. <laughs> it's like a really challenging little game. Think about this, I need to not just go. go. Ah. Who needs coins? Not me, but this suck. Right. Oh. Coins. I'll make it look a lot easier than it is. I've had a lot of practice when I was playing this game. Earlier for Alpha Beta Gamer. Playing Hester and the Tree of Doors. Alright. I like the graphics, they're quite unique. No, oh, we can't jump normally by the looks of things. Oh, wait, yeah, we can't jump. I don't think I understand jump because you like press jump and you go back and forth before you jump. Going through these doors. That jump is a lot higher. Go up this door. I'm supposed to go this way. I don't really know what's going on. It seems quite interesting though. Let's forget about that door. Let's keep going. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't understand this jump. I have to like go backwards and forwards to jump. There we go. I don't know. Can we go here? Is this a door I need? Oh, it was. Mind the pitfalls. This is really difficult because I don't really understand jump. Oh, I thought that was kind of. Blast us up far more than it did. But you made it. Oh, I see, I was just doing the level select wrong. Okay, next. We're playing Bower Alright. I keep 
getting hit by the bird poop. I like the graphics of that though. Next. We are playing the game Homeworld. Dead Traverse. Hold direction to keep going. Direction, hold to keep going. Shoot. Oh, okay. I get this. Alright. So you hit D and then you start moving and then you can hold D to keep moving that way but you switch over by going the other Kiwi is freaking out. We had to move into a new room so he's a little upset by it. That's what that bird is squawking in the background if you can hear it. Bam! Oh, quite make it. Yeah. Ah, I was expecting to go the other way still. This is quite neat. I like the way these bumps are making you like move. Got ya. I can't even see you in the fire and stuff on the planet. This is neat. Gotcha. Ah, ah. Now oh, I can fix some shooting the other way. Ah. Next. We're playing Secret of the Little Lamb. This looks pretty neat. Every time you jump, you grow. So you gotta try not to jump. Except when you need it. What happened? Where is he? Am I alive? Well, you look like a ghost, so probably not. Help Sean to escape the castle of Evil Unduff. Don't touch Evil Unduff's home decorations. It is cursed and touching it leads to immediate death. Welcome to the secret of the little lamb. This is you. You want to survive. So jump. What does that look like a decoration? Each jump makes you grow. Growing is good, as long as there are no arms. Yeah. Someone did not make it. Aww. Someone did not make it. I didn't make it. Aw, seems like a really cool concept. Next. Let's move out. Remember to alternate between your legs, otherwise you'll be stuck in place. F and J. Alright. Um, we're playing MK-F417XX3. Try to keep it at a steady pace. The mech reacts when you pace. The area seems safe. Let's keep this fancy system down. These guys practice for a while. Alright, so we're moving the legs of our little robot friend. The pixel on this is really beautiful. Oh, I get it. We need to. Yeah. Small step would be an issue if you guys wouldn't even have gotten there. Stop complaining and move. Put one foot in front of the other. Fair enough, it's not a small step, but it's still only a small stair. It's actually watching some very traditional. I don't know, 40s maybe? 1940s? Small fall would be nothing, okay. Um, cartoons for Christmas. Uh, sharing like it with Lewis. It's a very American thing to watch. Is those old claymation ones. It's kind of fun. Let's try something different. Do you see that small gap? Stop both feet before at the same time and try to jump in. I didn't make it myself clear. I said over it, not into it. Ah! <laughs> I tried. How do I get out of this? Oh, there we go. That was a good one. There we go. I'm just learning how to walk, man. There we go. Now I feel like the real game begins. Looks like there's enemies ahead, small fries only, but enemies nonetheless. Those aren't that menacing, so you should try to avoid them. Or you can just stop them. I don't really think they do damage to me. Start getting your sinking system back online. 
stop these guys. Awesome. <laughs> Next. We're playing alien number attack. Alien numbers are attacking the city. Luckily, we have found their one weakness. It's binary. Eva numbers three. These numbers use keys one and zero or arrows. Okay. Playing Carquet, choose difficulty. I'm gonna go medium. Point your mouse where you want to move, eat circles of your color to grow. All right, that's not my color. That's not my color. None of these are my color. Triangles and pockets, but they're also shields. I don't have anything in my color yet. You kind of look like my color. You obviously were my color. The middle of him is my color. I don't get it. Alright, let's go to easy, because obviously I don't understand. I couldn't find any circles in my color. You're not my color, you're my color, are you? Yay, that worked. Okay. I'm green now. Oh, green. I kind of want outside green, don't I? It's like inside green is not what I want. It's outside being green. Alright. There's a green. Yay. So I get it. If you get the outside color, you end up becoming the inside color. That's neat. I need more greens. Oh. I'm purple. Now I'm green again. Oh. Yellow. Yellow. Purple. Uh, purple. Which one of you guys is purple? Oh, that wasn't it, obviously. Oh, you are low. And you're yellow. And you're blue, and now I'm back to green. Oh, I'm just kidding, I'm yellow. Oh, this is great. Green. Green. Green to blue. Oh, that was the wrong blue. Ah. Neat. Next. We are playing Lava Miner. Alright, controls A and D. Got it. Alright, so I'm just jumping on these little lava dots. This is really cute. I like it. It was like a jumbo. Jump a bit higher. Bam. Two at the same time. Bam. I'm great at this. I can see this being a really nice little tablet game. Just kind of uh, tilt your device. Uh, I jumped in the lava. Game over. Oh, it's okay. We'll play again. I like how they see you coming down, so they try to like go the other way or kind of swerve a bit. Bam. Let's get these little guys. There we go. Boom. This is nice. Oh, shoot. There's a jumbo guy. Got him though. Next. We're playing train wrecker. A and D to move, space to shoot, mouse to aim. Got it. It's weird that it's not click to shoot. Ugh. Gotcha. Not sure what I'm really killing, but. Ah, shit. My train cart moved into it. My cart that loads ammo. 
like a weird dot thing that's growing. Gosh darn it, I suck at this. I do wish it was like mouse click instead of space. It's just a lot going on for me. Gotcha. Alright. Kind of recharge it. Oh, oh. Gotcha. We're protecting this circle. Shit, shit, shit. Ah, next. <laughs> 